Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're gonna clean up some rust off of my truck. <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys remember way back, I don't know if it was three or four years ago whenever I installed these track bars right here. They're from far from stock if you guys wanna check them out. So these things rusted out. I never really kinda of cleaned them. I know they're stainless steel and a lot of people say stainless steel don't rust, but I build outdoor kitchens for not for just to live in. We do a lot of other stuff. Um, but I always tell everybody stainless steel is stainless. It's not going to stain completely, but it's going to stain less completely to other metal. Um, so I want to remove all this rust out of here. I know it's not much of a big deal but you don't want truck rice to be posting your truck or your truck on on instagram or your buddies laughing at you because you got rust on stainless steel so that's what we're going to do today and we're only going to use two things I, I forgot how much it cost me because i bought this a while ago um but it's like a metal brush and i think it's bars and soap or something like that let me go get it real quick so you guys can look at it all right guys so this is it it's called brasso and i'm using this metal brush and a cloth right here so that's all you need to do. Uh, that's really actually all you need. Um, if you want to get a little more detail with it, uh, I am using my my drill, and I put like this little wire uh, wire brush also on it. Um, because what you what you want to do is really create like circles, so that way you can clean it. So look at this one right here. So as you guys can see, there's some spots underneath. Um, it's kind of hard to get. More where the thread is at, it's good to use the, this wire brush. But if you get one of those like tiny wire brush that you can put on your drill bit, use that and you'll knock those things out. So, you know, I recommend using this. You can use it in any other stainless product and it cleans it and it polishes it. I don't know if you can use it on your forces. I don't have forces, but that's um that's what we're gonna do today so let's go clean the other one Alright guys, so there you have it. Um, like I said, I wish it would have took a bit more, but it did take most of that rust. I know you guys saw what it used to look like, and this is what it turned out to look like. So yeah guys, like I said, that's all you really need. I use the Barso wire brush. If you have a, a drill and you can get these little bits, these wire bits, that's all you need. And you can clean them out really good. And like I said, I got these from uh, Far From Stock. Uh, they sell these track bars and I will post the link below so you guys can go to it or I'll probably put it somewhere around here. On the video you guys can click to it and look at the process on how Kilburn's custom uh, he installed these track bars for me but the track bars I did get them from him I don't remember the length I'll put in the description below what's the length of, of them because I do get a, asked a lot 
on Instagram, like what's the length on them. But yeah, you just tell Far From Stock that you want them this long. And they do have new ones uh, that they came out with. So, I mean, check out what, what they have and order your set and have them installed. It shouldn't take that long. It should take, I think it took Larry that night probably a good four hours or three hours because we had to cut a lot of the the brackets from the that the, the truck used to have and they were in the way and i had to order new uh new clamps and everything but we got the job done so i catch you guys up for the next video peace